in the thumbnail and by what I'm wearing today then I should just tell you that I'm going to be doing the Bethany Moda tag the motivator tag and I'm going to be doing a review of Bethany Moda's perfume so as you can tell it's gonna be all Bethany Moda up in here today and um, just to warn you if you hear laughing and talking and giggling downstairs that's because my brother has a friend over and my grandparents conveniently decided to show up at like 9 o'clock at night. So yeah, that's how late I'm filming this video and that's how late my grandparents decided to come visit us. So, um, yeah, sorry for the noise, but if you want to see this video, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the perfume review today. So I'm just going to show you what the outside looks like and describe it to you here. So it has a bow on the front here and it's just black as you can see, as long as you're not colorblind. If you are, I'm sorry for you. Yeah. Um, it also has a blue, black, and gold like Aztec print on it, and then on the top it says Bethany Moda, and then on the bottom here it has like some gold sparkles on it, and it's in the shape of a heart, well not the sparkles, but the bottle, and it says XLX Beth on this part down here, and then these you can actually take off, but they say um, Bethany Moda. And then they have a peace sign heart and a moon, and that's just supposed to symbolize that she loves us to the moon and back. And yeah, you can actually take this off and like put it on your keychain or, you know, just anything like that, I guess. Your car keys, something. But yeah, that's what the outside looks like. And now I'm just going to get on to this smell here. So I don't think that this is what that, what the, what the I don't think that this is what the perfume smells like personally, but... I have been told that it smells like cotton candy. I have worn this perfume several times and the other night when I was wearing it around my mom and my sister, they said that this smelled like cotton candy. I, however, do not think that it smells like cotton candy. I think it smells, well, you know, actually, I guess I shouldn't be doing this re review because I don't know really how it smells. To me, it smells like really sweet with a little bit of like kind of edge, like twist to it. That's what she wanted it to smell like, I guess. Sorry that I keep touching my hair, it's like falling in my face. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to spray it and then I'm going to try to describe it to you as best as I can. Um, it kind of smells like flowery and like really sweet with a little bit of kind of like edginess to it. A little bit of darker side, I guess. But, um, yeah, I however do not think that it smells like marshmallows at all. Or cotton candy, what did I say, marshmallows? I don't know, they said it smells like marshmallows or cotton candy or something like that. But I don't think that it smells like that. If you do, leave a comment below and tell me if you actually have this perfume and you've smelled it. But, um, yeah, I think this perfume smells really good and I would definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, I can't totally describe it, but it smells kind of flowery and sweet, I guess, with a little bit of, like, edge to it. That might not be a very good description, but the point is that this smells good and that you should definitely buy it. Um, if you found this re review part of the video helpful, then let me know because I know that when I was going to buy the One Direction R Moment perfume, which I already have, um, I was nervous about it because I was like, okay, well, I love One Direction and I want to support them by buying their perfume, but what if their perfume like smells really bad? So... What I did was I watched a review video on it and the girl said that it smelled great and I was like, okay, I'm still a little skeptical just because, let's be honest, celebrity perfumes usually don't smell too great. The only celebrity perfumes that I have ever smelled that I actually liked was um, the One Direction perfume, the Bethany Mona perfume, um, the Taylor Swift R Wonderstruck perfume I thought smelled pretty good, um, the Katy Perry I forget what I forget what one it was, but um, it was one of her older ones. That one smelled really good. It smelled like candy. But anyway, I'm just always skeptical about celebrity perfumes. I always think that they're gonna reek, like they're gonna smell really, really bad. But um, the One Direction perfume, I went to Macy's and I smelled it, and it smelled amazing. And then I ended up getting like the whole kit, like the body wash and all that kind of stuff for Christmas. So um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this review because I wanted it to be helpful to me, but I mean still, go smell it for yourself before you buy it. Like, don't just buy it on my opinion because you might not like it. But I know that I like it and it smells really great. So that's just all I'm trying to get across with this. So anyway, with that, let's get into the tag 
portion okay, of guys, the video. So the then. first question for the motivator tag is how did you find best channel? Oh, by the way, sorry if I sound kind of stuffy. I have a little bit of a cold. But um, I found her channel when I was on YouTube and I was looking through my recommendations. And I found her um, how to make your sweaters into, like, skirts and knee-high socks and, you know, like, cute things like that. It was, like, sweater renovation video. And I saw that video and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so cool. I never watched a beauty guru before, so she was, like, my first ever beauty guru that I watched. And I was just kind of like, wow. This is so awesome, and then I just ended up subscribing to her channel. So that's pretty much how I found her channel. And I've just pretty much been like, OMG, ever since. I totally love Bethany. She is amazing. So, yeah, that's how I found her so channel. So the next question is, how long have you been a motivator? Um, I'm pretty sure I've been a motivator for about two or three years. So, have you ever yep. done one of Beth's DIYs? Um... Yeah, I have done two of her DIYs. I've done the room organization one where you put, like, the pencils and all the little cups and whatever. I did that one, and then I did her back-to-school um, locker organization chalkboard. That one didn't work for me. I don't know. I, like, spent all my money on it, and I was really mad because the chalkboard did not work. But um, her, her uh, room organization one worked fine. So, yeah. I would recommend doing the room organization, but the chalkboard, uh, I wouldn't recommend because it did not work for me at all. But anyway, the point is, I have done two of her DIYs. Next question is, favorite item from Best Clothing Line? Um, this tag is a little bit older, so they're talking about her winter clothing line. So my favorite thing from that was probably her fox sweater. In that clothing line, I bought the red skirt that um, matched it, and then I wore that with some, like combat boots and tights and that was really cute so that was probably my favorite item from her winter next question line. is who do you ship Beth with um I am a Bethany shipper all the way if you do not ship Bethany Moto with Kana Franta then I have no words for you we are just no longer friends we are blood enemies now like no it's not even funny but anyway um yeah I definitely ship Bethany Moda and Kana Franta um, if you've seen Awesomeness TV, they're a YouTube channel. If you've seen The Ship Up, they shipped Bethany Moda with Kana Franta. And I was just, like, having a fangirl, like, heart attack because that was probably the best day of my life. But then they shipped Shawn Mendes with Bethany Moda, and I was like, no. No. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely a question is a very depressing question. Has Beth ever noticed you? No. No, she has not. So, Beth, if you see this video, then you better notice me because I'm not, this isn't even okay. Just question not. is Mac Barrio 7 or Bethany's Life? Um, I would probably have to go with Mac Barrio 7 just because it's more active than Bethany's Life. Bethany almost never posts on Bethany's Life anymore. So I'd have to say that I definitely like her beauty channel, Mac Barrio 7. A lot question more. is boxes or owls? I would definitely have to go with boxes. I don't know. I mean, cartoon owls are really cute, but I feel like owls aren't very cute in real life. Well, except for Harry Potter's owl headwig, that owl is kind of cute, I do have to admit. But, um, probably foxes. What is my favorite Beth video? I think my favorite Beth video would have to be her Hey Beth videos, which are mostly on her Bethany's Life channels. But she recently did a new one on her Mac Barbie 7 channel. And I also really like her locker organization video. I watched that, like, literally over and over and over again. So... Yeah, those are probably my favorite videos. I know it said favorite, but I mean, you can never just pick one. So, okay, so when yeah. I was searching for the motivator tag, somebody made a motivator tag part two. So, the part two is only five questions. The, the first one I ever made was only ten. So, I'm going to do the part two question now. question was, have you got or are you going to get Bethany Modus fragrance? Obviously, you guys already know I have her fragrance and I love it. Next so question is, what is your favorite thing from Bethany's 2014 fall collection? Um, I'm actually pretty ashamed of this. I haven't bought any, bought, I haven't gotten anything from her fall collection yet because I'm kind of in between sizes right now and I don't really like to buy clothes when I'm planning not to be able to fit into them anyway. So, um, yeah, I haven't really gotten anything from her fall collection, but, uh, out of what I've seen, my favorite thing would probably have to be her shirt that says home is where the cat is because I love cats. Or, um, what was the other thing that I saw? I saw a lot of cute sweaters that I would definitely want to, so stay tuned for that. I will probably be getting stuff from her clothing line at some point. I'm the next sure question is how long are you planning to be a motivator? Um, 
what? What? Um, you're planning to stop? Like, who made this? Um, I'm planning to be a motivator for probably, well, until Beth, no, probably for the rest of my life. <laughs> I was gonna say, until Beth stops making videos, but, um, I don't know, I'll probably just be motivator for life. I don't even know what kind of question, what kind of question is this? You would stop being a motivator? Like, what? What? Like, what? I don't know. Um, really, the next yeah. question is rather depressing. It's, does Beth follow you on any social media? No. No, she does not. Um, she has had things on Twitter where she's like, retweet for a follow, and she didn't follow me. And I was like, no. Girl, girl. Like, what? Um, you said retweet for a follow, and you didn't follow me. Like, what is up with that? And then on Instagram, she is, yeah, not following me either. And she's not following me on, subscribe to me on YouTube either, so you know what? The last no. question is, when was the last time you had a Beth marathon of videos? Um, to be honest, I don't know. It definitely has been recent, which is a shame. I mean, I don't, there's no motivator pride here, apparently. So, yeah, not in a while. And I guess I should leave you guys and go do that okay right guys now. i'm not leaving and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um i've noticed that my dance videos are the most popular so if you want me to do any certain kind of dance video then leave it in the comments below um i was thinking i could do maybe some gymnastics tutorials or like my competition makeup um look through or like my competition must haves or something like that Oh, and by the way, I did make my competition team this year, so yay for me, I guess. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. I'm really excited. Um, I made it last year, too, but, I mean, still, exciting. I could have not made it, and I can't wait for this year to start. So, if you guys just want me to do um, any more kind of dance videos, like my competition experience or something like that, then let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>